out of turn number four. Time to get down and dirty with the modifieds. Green in the air, here we go. Nick Hoffman will take the early lead, but Hawkins has high side momentum. They'll go wheel to wheel. Hawkins way up by the guardrail. Hawkins will fall into second. The Dillon brothers battle side by side. Now Austin has tie for third. Ty will answer back along with Hawkins. Two by two by one by one by three as they come out of four. Hawkins stays relentless on the outside, gets a good run off of two, but way stronger on the bottom was Nick Hoffman. Ty Dillon now has taken over to the number third spot from older brother Austin. Room in the fifth, McLaughlin the sixth, Wallace battling with Jewel for seventh. And that battle up front continues to rage on. For those of you watching at home on DirtOnDirt.com and Dirt Vision, this Integra Shocks broadcast was split screen there for a moment. You got to see the leaders and some of the rest of the field. At the line still, Nick Hoffman by just 61 one thousandths of a second. A clinic right now of how to run the bottom and the top of Volusia Speedway Park. Both of them doing it with ease. And they stay wheel to wheel, door to door. They've done it since the start and they are not gonna give it up anytime soon. Hawkins flying around the outside of turn number four. Hoffman married to the bottom. Hawkins, your new leader. So Jared Hawkins will take the lead on lap number four. Jared Hawkins, your new leader. With Nick Hoffman tracking him down, not going away quietly in the Barberville night. Field stretched halfway around Volusia Speedway Park. Ty Dillon running in that third spot. Austin Dillon fourth, Brian Roman fifth. Max McLaughlin sixth, Kenny Wallace seventh. David Stremi eighth, Jason Folio ninth, Larry Perkins tenth. Now Hoffman has the slight advantage. Nick Hoffman looking to go back into the lead. And he will do it. So Hoffman leads lap number six. And Nick Hoffman has opened up a sizable advantage. Here comes the silent assassin. Ty Dillon to the outside of Hawkins for second. But Nick Hoffman's lead is starting to shrink. 1.612 seconds the advantage over Ty Dillon. Let's see if it opens up here. Lap number nine about to go on the board. Nick Hoffman will finally clear himself of the seven of all guy and now go after Patrick Lyon. Patrick Lyon sitting in 16th. So if he gets past Patrick Lyon, he will have lapped half of the field. Oh, and Billy Workman Jr. off the pace. Workman Jr. is gonna bring out the caution. We got a new race with three to go. Watch Nick Hoffman, he's on the hammer. Out of four, we go green. So Nick Hoffman dives right to the bottom of the racetrack. Jason Bolio will try the high side. Nothing to lose at this point. Into turn number three, the two to go signal this time. Here comes Bolio to the high side. High wide and hits about a four is the BC Lion. Hoffman's gonna stay on the bottom with Ty Dillon. Jason Bolio will go top shelf where Dad keeps the good books. Looking for the white flag this time. One lap to go for Nick Hoffman and five grand. Bolio to the outside of Dillon for third. He wants a podium. Down the back stretch for the final time. The Dirt Car National point leader will become a four-time winner and step one step closer to the championship. Nick Hoffman wins the Gator. Second, it's gonna go to Ty Dillon. Third to Jason Bolio, he's gonna get a podium.